I'm Jimbo Juanis. This is the Dead News. We have an update on the Adam Katz Meadowlands murder. Police are still investigating the murder of 19-year-old Adam Katz, who was found bludgeoned to death outside the Meadowlands Arena in New Jersey last October 14th. Adam's family has offered a $40,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of his assailants. Unfortunately, Adam is not alone. On December 10th, 1989, another 19-year-old deadhead, Patrick Shanahan, fell victim to overzealous Inglewood police outside of the Sunday Forum concert. Patrick's death was the result of a chokehold administered while in police custody. Pat's body was covered with bruises, allegedly inflicted by police billy clubs. Hey, this is Phil Lesh speaking. Listen, please, because this is serious. We care about you and your welfare, and if you care about yourselves, your friends, and the scene we've built up together, you'll pay some attention to this free advice about our spring tour. First, at our sold-out shows, if you don't have a ticket, please don't come. We really mean this. Two, we want to keep the scene outside the show calm and low-key, so for that reason, there will be no vending or camping. Finally, please, please remember this. Try as we might to change it. The area around every Grateful Dead concert is still part of the real world, and that means it's subject to the local legal system. There is no safe place or neutral zone where you can ignore this. So please, take care of yourselves and all of us. Be cool and have fun. Following up Foolish Heart, their first video from Built to Last, The Dead recently released a music video for A Little Light. Just a little light It can be Just a little sweetness Just a little light Former Grateful Dead keyboardist Tom Constantin has teamed up with San Francisco pianist George Mikowski for Night of the Living Piano. The show, which will tour the East Coast in early May, includes seldom heard dead classics, such as Mountains of the Moon, Cryptical Envelopment, Dark Star, and We Bid You Good Night. Bob Weir was recently seen in a New York restaurant discussing a proposed Grateful Dead comic with Marvel Comics. Word is, that the band has considered a dead comic book for some time. DTV thinks that Zap Comics would be a more natural choice. And that's the dead news for now.